Hello everybody, it's Constantine here for Gamers, and today we... This is a different kind of uh, vlog, because I'm reviewing a... A General Electric AM-FM radio cassette player that I found at a thrift store. I mean, not thrift store, a, uh, a garage sale. And this one is very uh, interesting, because I... This is from the year 1980, and they were only sold in Canada. Which makes this really awkward to find in Illinois, but somehow it's here. So, I don't know if I can show you. This thing is like a brick. Now, this thing is awesome because it kind of looks like the... It has that 80's feel to it. There's no rewind button. There's only uh, stop, eject, stop and eject, which is like this. And you... But the, you have to lift it up, you know, and it's forward and play. Now I'm going to try to focus uh, a little bit. Focus. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to focus. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. So it says General Electric Model Number 3-5430A. And this is a battery operated AM FM stereo radio cassette player. Power source is 4A8 size flashlight batteries. This is a model number and it's made in Hong Kong. And you can call this number as a service, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. So, I can show you on the top is the tuning, the stereo battery, and the battery power. The volume, which can go all the way up to. Uh, 0 to 10 headphone jack then the keys the buttons I mean the lift and then there's the AM cassette general stereo and then the, the numbers for the so and then on this side you can power it from a 6 volt DC adapter you can see how you can change it radio and it has the power on for the battery then you can change it to tape you can change it to FM stereo or FM or AM but I keep on a stereo and this thing is sounding pretty great now I have a collection of uh, cassettes I have one from Fallout Guardian of the Galaxy more Guardian of the Galaxy, Post Malone, from the first movie of the Galaxy, and then just my own kind of tape. So, I'm gonna put some uh, Post Malone to see how this thing actually sounds like. So, to put it in, put it in like this, it's, it's kind of like a to push in then we get a uh, jack connected this and connected to this little Bluetooth speaker I have but it's has an aux in here turn this on and This is the lowest.
Now, what uh, surprised me the most is that this is in mint condition, condition, you know? I mean, like, obviously there's scratches, but, uh, there's no big scratches. There's only, like, the stain at the bottom, which I could think that it's corrosion, but the batteries, the... It ta this takes four the ways. It, the compartment's clean. So, I'm kind of surprised that, uh... It's in mint condition. You can take this off. This is the belt clip. And uh, to eject, you have to open this. You can open it like that. And go. Take that out. Put that in. And yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. I mean, it's nothing really uh, that interesting. But uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to own a piece of history like this. And uh, I'm surprising that I found it for only uh, two dollars actually, and it works very very well. So um, that's all I wanted to show you in this video today, and I hope you guys like it. Really like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.